my weekend piece was about the, about Safaricom. I said this is the best time to buy Safaricom. Safaricom is the big beast at the NSC, carries a market capitalization of 1.021 trillion shillings, which represents 42.63 percent of the value of the entire stock exchange. Safaricom has served up a mouth-watering 38.22% total return in 2017, which is close to twice the return of the Nairobi All Share. These raw numbers confirm the importance and centrality of last week's earnings release to Kenya Inc. Mr. Colin Moore has presided over a miraculous 420% share price appreciation, that is excluding the very juicy dividends that shareholders have received during his tenure. A performance that has only been bettered by the likes of Apple, Amazon, and Alibaba. Safaricom under Mr. Collimore exists in the very top percentile of worldwide performance, and consequently, last week's earnings, re earnings release resonates worldwide. The value of Safaricom is much more than the share price performance. It's produced a plain exponential return. KPMG estimates that the total value Safaricom created for Kenyan society in the full year 2017 was 486 billion shillings, around 10 times greater than the financial profit the company made in the same year. It's produced a plain exponential return. The ubiquity of M-Pesa allowed us to reinvent our brand, which by the way has been taking some very big hits of late um, across the world. Last week's earnings release importance cannot be gainsaid. Collimore is in London and I'm reliably informed. Watch last week's proceedings on the live feed. In his absence, Safaricom subtly sent a message of bench strength with the thoughtful chairman Nicholas Nganga, the CFO Satish Kamath, and Joseph Agutu, Director of Strategy and Innovation, taking up the baton. Safaricom reported a 12% shift higher in first half services revenue, which clocked 109.73 billion. Customer numbers, the demographic dividend, grew 10.8% to 29.5 million. First half net income expanded 9.5% to 26.2 billion. And if we exclude a one off positive adjustment from the previous set of results, first half net income grew 21.4%. Voice revenue grew 3.6% to 47.35 billion. Nearly every year, for as long as I can remember, folks have been keen to pronounce the last rights on voice. But year in, year out, Safaricom has confounded the naysayers. Voice at plus 3.6% is counting intuitively off the charts. SMS revenue clocked a 3.4% increase to 8.92 billion. I recall Bob telling me a few years ago how he was increasing the spike limit of the SMS platform by a factor of 10. And I thought to myself, why on earth is he doing that? WhatsApp was lifting off just about that time. Today, when the betting companies blast via SMS, they utilize 100% of that spike capacity increase. Safaricom have proven skillful at maximizing yield, really skillful. Let's now turn to the more go-go trajectories. H1 mobile data revenue accelerated 31% to 17.55 billion. Satish informed me that average per capita mobile data consumption accelerated 66%. And this confirms Kenya Inc. is surfing the new 21st century information superhighway. Something Alibaba's Jack Ma also alerted us to when he visited. He was asked about our infrastructure deficit and replied, but the most important infrastructure in the 21st century is the in internet and yours is fast. Safari Combo invested heavily in building out this 21st century information highway. It represents the democratization of data. And Safari Combo given every Kenyan an entry ticket, not any old entry ticket, but a Ferrari this new 21st century of ours. Calls for the boycott of Safaricom is kindergarten politics and will surely tip opposition strongholds into economic recession. Ubiquitous M-Pesa platform grew first half revenue 16.2% to 30.05 billion. Higher frequency data confirms a slowdown in the velocity of mobile money since August and I have to believe that within this first half revenue narrative is a story of two halves, with the second half materially slower than the first. M-Pesa continues to expand its platform capabilities and is deeply embedded in the economic ecosystem. 
Chairman Nicholas Nganga spoke of Safaricom casting its eyes beyond our borders. Shareholders, in my view, have not baked this news into the share price. Mpesa, for example, surely can be inserted into many countries on this continent. Safaricom also launched the Msoco e-commerce platform. E-commerce has exploded. It's made Jeff Bezos of Amazon the richest man on the planet. And Jack Ma cannot be far behind. E-commerce is going to be a very big thing, and Safaricom have all the levers with which to secure a leadership position in this space. Their M-Pesa agents can double up as delivery points, for example. Any share price softness is an opportunity for investors to load the boat for the next leg higher. Stanley Druckenmiller said the way to build superior long-term returns is through preservation of capital and home runs. When you have tremendous conviction on a trade, you have to go for the jugular courage to be a pig. Safaricom share price data is linked on rich wrap-ups. M-Pesa transaction values is seen in this uh, image. Um, Reuters TV have a, have a little section on Kenya's politics and economics. Take a look at that. NEC 20 up 19.28% year-to-date. Finally, the last item on the page is if you want to check any uh, share price data that link will help you do it. Thank you so much for stopping by.